And we're back. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, yeah. Trying to trying to figure out how to get out of a village here. I'm sure you'll do it. Oh, so this was like a couple episodes ago, but there was a thing that I pulled up on my phone, and I haven't had a really good opportunity. But now I do, and it's not pulled up anymore. So. Oh, okay, good. Um, so, you ever watched Whose Line Is It Anyway? I... Not really. Like, I, I know the show. Uh-huh. I've, I've seen, like, clips, but I've never, yeah. like, watched it, you know That's I mean? fair. The best way to watch it is to watch best of clips yeah. anyway. But there's, there's this one game that they play on the show. Uh, it's basically... Uh, one of the main three guys who are on every episode, Colin, he's a newscaster, and then the other three people uh, are, like, also newscasters, but they are also different characters. And the reason that he's always the main one is because he opens it up with a funny joke. Um, and so something along the lines of... Um, uh, a cow was beat up with in the, in a field today with um, random objects you'd find in a gift shop. This is the first known case of a knick-knack paddywhack. <laughs> and so, the other day, while I was in the shower, for some reason, I uh, thought of a couple. And so, I, I thought of two. Um and so, this, this is the first one. It's not going to be as funny as his, but, you know, it's fine. Well, I mean, the man's a trained comedian. That's true. I am not. I want to be, but, like, that's, that's just not feasible for me at the moment. So, you know. Anyway, um, local business owner Jillian, while high off of her brother William's medication, killed a local man, Philip. She claims she was out of ones in her cash register and thought he might have some. In other words, Jill took Will's pills and killed Phil to fill her till with bills. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Uh, oh, oh yeah. This is it for me, boys. Oh, that fucking grazed you. Oh, you're... You're not in a great spot, not gonna lie. Yeah. No, I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. <laughs> I, I, I fucking keep it real, bro. You don't even know. Yeah? Is that why you're dead? I stay hard. Yeah, I can but tell. But he did not stay hard. <laughs> In fact, he was the softest he had ever been. Just like it slowly zooms in on your dick as it, <laughs> as, it um, oh. as it pans to the next shot. Oh god. Oh yeah, you're back here now. Well, oh, and it's be and it didn't save since you changed your uh, sp your point on the map. Uh, I'm gonna kill myself. Bah, 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 bah. It's around there. No one can stop. <laughs> I mean, I could definitely try, but you're a lot larger than I am, which is the whole basis of the name of this show. So yes, th this is true. <clears throat> In case you guys hadn't noticed, <laughs> one of us is tall, <laughs> and the other one is not as tall. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess an episode isn't really, like, the greatest place to talk about this, but I did have an idea for, like, a profile icon, because right now it's, um, it's Kermit, and, uh, it's when he was on Sesame Street telling people the difference between tall and short. Yes. And, uh, I was thinking that, like, if, if we get one, like, professionally drawn anytime soon, profile icon could be... So I'd be there, but, like, only, like down to my eyes would be showing mm -hmm. like the top of my head and then you'd also be there and it would be like your whole torso but only like up to like your chin and mouth a little bit i like it i like it what do you you know what uh leave a comment uh, down below if you think that this should be the next the next thing because I, I think it's a uh, i think it's pretty good yeah uh i think i think people would click on that they'd be like that's wacky i want to see what that's about that's a uh, fun and quirky, as Ethan would say. Yeah, good old Ethan. I like that guy. Anyway, uh... no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Not nah, love you, Ethan. Mm -hmm. Dude, he he should honestly start his own like podcast thing. So basically, Ethan's like one of our best friends in the whole world. Yeah. And like, uh... yeah. 
words are hard. And like, <laughs> the main reason he's not on this show is because like he's he's not as interested in like uh, less serious. Because like he's a very smart person, and I definitely feel that any content he makes would be like some of the best educational content out there, honestly. But obviously, like y'all y'all aren't watching Breath of the Wild run by the only guy in the world who hasn't played Breath of the Wild to, to be educated on Breath of the Wild, you feel yeah. like? Yeah. <laughs> now the thing is, like, there'd be a three-episode vexillology lecture, and me and you would be like, oh my god, I never knew flags were so cool. But then everybody watching would be like, why? I'm trying to watch goofy game stuff. Why is Why are we talking about flags? Yeah. And, yeah. But anyway... We love Ethan. He's great. If he ever starts making content, we'll plug it here because he's super cool. Yeah, and he, he deserves a plug. Yeah. He was one of the few people worthy of a plug. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I, I'm going to read that second news thing. Yeah, now. Hit, me, hit me with the second news thing. A uh, local ceramic maker known for his long beard trained a turkey to breathe flames. You can find the link to the video on our website. It's titled Harry Potter and the Gobble of Fire. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Now that's A tier comedy right there. Thank you. I'd like to think so. Oh, good. It's a waste of meat. You could probably just fly across if you wanted to. I'm gonna get up a little bit higher. Just That's case. fair. Uh, hooked on heroin. <laughs> um, I've. So I, I thought of another thing the other day. Yeah. I don't know if it's necessarily appropriate. I don't think we. But... Should... <laughs> I don't think appropriate is really the name of the game out here. Alright, so you know that one song that's like, Despite all the rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. You know, you know that song? You heard it? Uh, no, I can't say that uh, I have. Well, somebody out there may have. And I just kind of started giggling to myself the other day while I was at home. The at, Probably the day before I moved in here. And my brother was like, what? Because he knows whenever I do that, I just thought of something dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend's the same way. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very similar. <laughs> yeah. And so I just look at him and I'm like, despite gender change, I would still fuck Elliot Page. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> uh. For anyone who doesn't know, um, Elliot Page formerly Ellen Page, was an actor on Umbrella Academy and various other things, and uh, he came out as transgender. And so that's that's the joke there. Oh yeah, you get to hear his music. We need to write a song for this. I, yeah. love, I love accordion music. Dude, it's awesome. Oh, pardon me, I don't think... I need like a... Can you give him a sexy bard voice? Pardon me, I didn't think anyone was around. Uh, th that there. On your hip. No, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I don't mean to pry. Are you a bird? <laughs> Have you never met a Rito before? Odd. My name is Cass, and I'm here for that ass. <laughs> <laughs> As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard the ancient songs of Hyrule? Mm. Ancient songs. Songs that sing the praises of a hero who beat his meat back in the calamity days in an age past. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Yeah, why the fuck not? Excellent! Without further ado... <laughs> A beast wears a crown of foam, prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne, for only then the shrine is seen. I suppose the lush green could refer to this place, but what sort of beast wears a crown of bone? 
Mm. There's definitely a secret hiding here, but it's beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. So basically, he's super cool. Uh, you can see across the screen there it says Shrine Quests, and uh, he pops up around the world and uh, tells you how to unlock different shrine puzzles. That's super cool. Yeah. Nah, he's great. I think a lot of the um, DLC stuff he's a part of, too. Two. Two? Two. 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 Quality content. <laughs> It's just, <laughs> this is just going to carry in for the rest of the episode. It's just going to be us shouting numbers and or words back and forth yeah. at each other. All right. I don't know if you heard that, but the second you got too loud with that cast voice, Molly freaked out again. I did. When my roommates okay. were out, but they just came back. Oh. This, this isn't going to go well <laughs> for me, you know? <clears throat> I hope I can just climb up to the top. Of this. Uh, it might still be raining. Yeah. I, I think your best bet might be going down to the bottom of the canyon with your paraglider so you don't uh, die from fall damage. Oh, there's water down here. Oh, never mind. That's alright. You just get warped back up to the yeah, top, though. Yeah, that's the hope. That's the hope. You might have to find a way around, but you don't have the map for this region, so it's a little difficult. I can just faintly hear accordion music in the background. <laughs> it's kind of fucking wonderful, not gonna lie. Yeah, Gosh. no, this this game's great. This uh, the only criticism I've heard of this game is so is that not one... enough fucking accordion music. Why isn't that guy at the beginning? Why can't we have that instead of fucking Stacy, bro? That's my oh god. <laughs> <laughs> you got so angry you almost died. Yeah, you ever just get so angry that you just fucking almost die? It's, it's literally like every other day for me. Oh, what was I oh yeah, so one of the criticisms, one of the very few criticism of, of this game that I've heard is the Zelda series is known for its scores in its games. Yeah. And uh, this one, because because the world is meant to be more atmospheric than most of the other games um a lot of the songs and stuff are just ambient in the background and so it's not like anything grand like in previous games and so that that is something that people have complained about a little bit but i do have to say the 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 music they do have is still pretty spot on like cast is accordion and stuff uh, you know like this, this is good all right, so <clears throat> flying, not ideal. Uh huh. Swimming, also not ideal. Uh, still raining. Climbing, also not ideal. <laughs> See, that's the thing that sucks is it's still raining. So it's like... yeah, the rain. The rain is another big criticism in this game. It is going to hinder most. Of the yes. You do have, um, your Cryonis. Oh, is that the one that makes ice? Yes. Could I, in theory, use that to walk across? Yeah. That's one of the biggest functions of it. <laughs> Alright, so it's not that, not that. It's the other bumper that you didn't, yeah, there you go. A. I hit. I technically I hit A. Okay. Only in your heart, which doesn't count for shit. Yeah. So you just keep going with these. And will I fall? In the, will it like delete the one that I'm on? Uh, no. You can make up to three, and then the first one you made of those three will be deleted once you make a fourth one. That's not too bad. And you can press X to just automatically get up to the top. The jump. There you go. I'm gonna eat some food just because. Mm -hmm. See, he's learning. I'm so proud of you. Getting better. Growing Thanks. up. Thanks, Dad. No problem, son. Let's That's go throw it. the ball and I can give you a piggyback ride later. How does that sound? 
I mean, honestly, I mean, let's start with the piggyback ride. <laughs> I I definitely could not give you a piggyback ride. It would take maybe three of me. Possibly four. <clears throat> and honestly, I don't I don't need there to be more than one of me in the world. As much as I'd love to force a clone of myself to do my homework and take my tests, I know he'd be just as diligent as I am, which is to say, not at all. So, you know. And fuck the other me. Fuck the hypothetical other me. Dude's an asshole anyway. Hey, fuck that guy. Yeah. Who needs him? What a, what a dick. I'm thinking he's all smug. Acting like, oh, I'm the original Ben. I'm the original Ben. Alright, Ben, I think we're getting a little bit too deep into this one. It, it, you okay, it, it, I mean, it's, it's just hypothetical, but honestly, fuck the other Ben, okay? He is arrogant. He thinks he's better than me. Um, and I, I heard he has a tiny dick, so... So, I'd like to point out that the other Ben is an exact copy of you. <laughs> uh, let, let me be maybe the first and only person to tell you this. That's that's the only thing they got wrong in making this hypothetical other Ben. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, but of course, just, just hypothetical. There's not... I yeah, there's there's no connection and or uh -huh. anything there. Just so don't read too far into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. At least they don't keep it long. <clears throat> uh, Slowly so. making our way across the river. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is the quality content everybody is mm -hmm. going to see. I mean, this is just kind of something that's necessary in the game sometimes, especially because it's like so early on and you have very little stamina. Yes. And no, like, food to restore your stamina. Yeah. Besides, it, there could, there are worse. There are worse ways to get across it. It's an nice way to travel. <sighs> so, uh, come check out my new gaming channel, <laughs> Tall Games. <laughs> Gonna plug myself now. Mm -hmm. I do have in all of the descriptions under your name. It's just like just this for now. I saw that, yeah. So whenever, whenever you make a, your own channel, that's that's what'll go there. I don't know if you have like a SoundCloud or anything you want me to link. No, nah, I, I don't. I don't do music full time, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. For those of you who want to hear me do music full time. I think my favorite is when I, is that one time right after my brother got his keyboard, uh, you walked into our house and were like, oh, sweet, a piano, and like, uh, just started playing a ragtime tune. It's probably, uh, oh, God, what is that song? Uh, it's not Maple Leaf Rag, it's The Entertainer by Scott Joplin. Ah. I don't know if he wrote it, but it's good. I don't play the piano, or any instrument for that matter. Really? Yeah. I, I took a couple months of piano lessons as a kid, but I, okay, I don't know if this is just the way I remember it or if this is actually what happened, but I was advancing really quickly through all of it to the point where, like, I was getting bored of how quickly I was advancing through it. I was like, oh, yeah. this is way too easy. This isn't challenging me at all. Because, like, most of the challenge when you're brand new to piano, uh, from what I have gathered, is learning is to just not have to look at the keys, keys while yeah. you play the music. And, like, I had no problems with that because basically the way the book taught me was, like, I had a couple places to put each hand, uh, like, on different octaves or whatever. And, uh... I kind of knew, like, wherever my hand was, how to play up and down on the keyboard. Yeah. And, like, I picked up... I can't do that anymore because I haven't practiced since I was, like, 10. But uh, I picked up on that skill super quickly and then, like, was able to read music pretty easily, too. Yeah, see, now, that was my problem with piano is that I can't read music. To this day, I can't mm -hmm. read music. 
I'm not just play by ear, which yeah. you know, has its upsides and downsides. Mm-hmm. My uh, sister's boyfriend, he's very good at the whole music thing, and I he heard. also cannot read music at all. It's a skill that very few people, well, I guess actually probably most people who play music possess the ability to read. Yeah. <clears throat> but Cass does. Sexy bird bard. I bet he does. Man, I could listen to just like I, you know, I'm probably gonna listen to a loop of Cass's <laughs> on my way home tonight. It's a 30 minute drive, and that's the, yeah. It's just gonna be me and Cass's accordion music, baby. Uh, by the way, shout out to Sam for commuting all the way over here because driving scares me. <laughs> driving scares me too, Ben. <laughs> driving scares me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nah, the drive out here isn't too bad. It, it's mm -hmm. like fairly straight. It's just my car. <laughs> yeah, dude, that. That certainly is a motor vehicle. Sure, it technically is. qualifies as one. It's, it's it has a small, you know, the engine in that car is technically smaller mm -hmm. than most motorcycle engines. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know what the average motorcycle engine size is, but there's definitely a, like a lot of like bigger motorcycles. Yeah, definitely have bigger engines. That like I'm pretty sure one of my friends owns a motorcycle with a bigger engine in it. Nice. Yeah. You wanna you wanna see what's at the top of this tower in the next episode? You know what? I'd leave them hanging. All right. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>